Hey everybody, I'm Master Rolfus, and we're playing as the French in the Great War mod campaign for Napoleon Total War. So, when we last left off, we were just about done kicking out the Austrians from Heidelberg. Yes, it's actually pronounced Heidelberg, not Hindelberg. Really sorry about that. I, I don't know, the font is so small that I have to squint a little bit to kind of see the little D and the I and the E and the L. And apparently my brain just thought, oh, it's actually an N, not any of those letters, so... Basically, that's my brain not functioning as it should. I'm really sorry for any Germans who were um, a little bit offended that I butchered their language, but that's kind of par for the course. Anyway, so let us see what we can do. Let's go ahead and take our freshly made rifle infantry, all baked and cooked, and send them to the eastern front. Now, what else do we have to do, actually? We do have to wait for these Italians to either die or come near us and then afterwards we're gonna spank them a little bit spank them like the dirty whores they are she got bunkers are moving forward and the massive army or def stack is moving forward as well we unfortunately cannot move our dudes which kind of sucks but oh well that does happen we might want to go ahead and send forward this guy over actually wait we'll keep our forces here just so that if in case they do attack from munich we'll be prepared and not get tracked and Mr. Spy, you can go check out Munich, actually. We do need to see if there's any bad guys. Ooh, there are a lot of bad guys. There's a German army over there. There's another German army here. There's a couple of Austrian armies. So we do have a massive supply of foes we have to deal with. But, as soon as we clear this area, I think we're pretty much all set um, for the Eastern Front, actually. And then all we have to do is focus on the Northern Front of the German army. Because... If you look right over here, this is basically their entire army. Their entire army is all situated in Hesse. Now, we're probably not going to fight this force over here because this is a ton of dudes. And we simply do not have the artillery or the manpower to actually deal with all these forces. But, but if we do manage to beat all of these armies here, then Germany has no way to rebuild its forces. Because keep in mind, we did burn down all the military structures in Berlin. And I don't think any other city in the German Empire actually has the manufacturing capability to build up all of his forces again if he do, does lose them in uh, Hesse. In fact, here's Prince of Bavaria over here, and then we have Johann Ackenwell and Otto Lehmann von Sanders. Oh, look at that, the Archduke of Austria. <laughs> I wonder, if we kill him, does the Austrian Empire fall apart? No, oh, that would be funny as hell. Alright, so you know what? Let's go ahead and end our turn. And see what wonders life has in store for us. So far, those wonders would be just a bunch of Austrians and Germans shelling around our borders. I would like to attack an Austrian army, but I'm not sure if we'll have the opportunity to do so. Simply because they're just gathering around those Germans like a pack of flies. On a nine-week-old Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Oh, and the British are helping us out. Yay! This is wonderful. Now, if only I knew what their grand master plan was. And if only the Russians would help us as well, but... Hey, you can only accept a few apples from the orchard. Kind of sucks, though, but... You know, all around this... It's fine, it's fine. We'll, we'll deal with the rejection, I guess. Russia, I don't even know what you've been doing, actually, this entire time. If you haven't been attacking the Germans or... Oh, Italy, I'm going to spank the crap out of you. Make your booty go red. Oh, Germany. Thank you for raiding that area again. We needed that. A wake-up call. Okay, so Italy, you're moving about our lands. You're moving very slowly, but that's because of the machine gun bunker. So God bless for that. And the British should be able to deal with you, actually. Now, let's take all these... Our rifle of three machine guns and move them to the eastern front. And the rest of you lassies can go ahead and move to the east as well. Across the bridge. Go, 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 go. Anybody else needs to move? No, not really. Oh. Oh, crap. Now I can't move them because this guy's blocking the way with his fat ass. Uh, I would like to take out a machine gun. No, no, no. We won't take out a machine gun. We'll just... Chill about, I guess. 
Here, how about you go and combine with that army over there? They're already done moving anyway. Now, this German army... They're a little bit, uh... A little bit dumb, in my opinion. Yeah, they're all by themselves. They don't have any support. Let's go ahead and infiltrate it and see if they have anything tough to deal with. A bunch of heavy field guns. Field guns, cav, infantry. We have mortars and rifle infantry and machine guns. We might be able to kill them, actually. A little bit balls to the wall, but you know what? Sweat dripping off my balls. Let's go ahead and kick some ass and choose a bubblegum. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go right out into battle. Charge. Ooh, the odds are stacked against us. Let's do this. It's Hamon Ninon versus Leopold, Prince of Bavaria. Hey, the Bavarians. Where is Bavaria anyway? Isn't that south of Germany? Yeah, it's a province in Germany, right? Yeah, I, th I think it is. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. My German geography is that of like a 12th grader. And you know what? I'm always putting my machine guns on, yeah, I mean, in the center of my army, which is a little bit bad. So I'm probably going to put this machine gun crew on the flanks, actually. I am absolutely tired of putting him in the center because when the center falls apart, then the mortars are all exposed and then everything falls apart. So let's go ahead and set up my guys like so. And there we go. Now then, mortars, you can go ahead and set up into a death squad over here. Let us begin the battle. Unleash hell, boys. Unleash hell. Oh, the Michigan team's already firing. God bless. That's what I wanted to see. Good old fashioned kicking ass and chewing bubblegum. Mortars, why aren't you firing? Or did you already fire? Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Wonder if the heavy field guns can fire upon us. Well, if they don't survive this mortar strike, then it doesn't really matter. Here, let me check this out really quick. Yep, some of them actually cannot fire at us. They can only fire at the hill. Bless. Wait, what the hell? How did the how did the horses jump over that trench? Godlike jumping ability going on. The devil is inside that guard cavalry unit. Let's release him from his prison. Fire upon the horses. Fire upon them. God, I'm putting my machine gun on the flanks is actually a very good strategy. Oh, there goes the cav. All right, yep, there we go. Bye bye, cav. Ooh, if we kill the general, then their entire empire will fall apart. Well, not their entire empire, their entire army. But you know what? We'll just chill about and. Wait for them to come to us, I guess. No reason to rush ourselves. Machine gun teams and mortars are doing the job. The dirty, the nasty. All around, not even washing their hands. Oh, that's a lot of uh, a cavalry units you got there. It'd be ashamed if something happened to them, right? Yeah, like, you know, that. Maybe that. You know, I hope you know that you will die in the next volley, right? Yeah, you're basically dead. Alright then, let's see what's gonna go on. Oh, the guard infantry are gonna charge at us. That ain't kosher. Shingo teams are trying their best to fire upon these rifle infantry as much as they can, but... I don't know, there's a lot of infantry units. There is a lot of infantry units, I will say that. Dude, what are you doing? Why do you have to go into that formation? Of all formations. I don't understand when the AI does that. They're just like, let me become a squirrel. It's time to rearrange our machine gun teams. Continue firing upon the German units. And I need both of you guys to go ahead and fire upon these... Germans. No, 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 no. Please don't go into square formation. I don't need no pizza. All the 
They are wavering. No. Machine guns, I need you to set up a little bit faster. There we go. Alright, maybe that'll change the tide of battle. No, that won't. Okay, you know what? You're all done. Just fire upon the units. Taking forever to set up. What do you think this is, Chuck E. Jesus? Come on. We ain't, we ain't got no time for you to get set up. Please unleash how machine gun teams. Please. Get out of the fucking way. There we go. Retreat back all the mortars. All the mortars retreat. Retreat. Go back to the citadel. Fly, you fools. Fly. Oh, moving on my machine gun team was probably the best idea I ever had. Because now we are butchering the Germans. Oh, the Germans have done a lot of damage. So I'm not sure whether or not we're going to win this one with um small amount of casualties we probably will win this one i mean unless those heavy field guns get off like the luckiest hits ever and insta kill my guys i just don't want to lose a mortar team which we probably will actually if this battle continues like it is currently continuing please guard infantry units please have mercy they are just uh little tykes essentially They're all ogred out. Oh, someone, for the love of God, deal with whatever the hell is chasing us down. And the fact that these rifle infantry units are still strutting about is a little bit ridiculous. Oh, it's okay. They're all done for now. Shit, that rifle infantry squad was basically completely butchered. Turned into raw soup. Alright, everybody. Guess what? You can just chill out. Don't run away anymore. No running away. Machine gun team, I think, is still firing upon this Jaeger. Maybe? I, I don't know if he actually can reach the Jaeger. Well, all I know is that the Jaeger is pretty much dead at this point. There's too many rifle infantry squads. Sorry. Bye. See you in hell, Jaegermeister. Oh, 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 oh. I, I don't know how you're still alive. How do you take so many bullets and not rout? Look at this one dude. He was shot in the face like 13 times and he's like, Oh, hey, I'm just gonna strike it off. It is but a flesh wound. Look at all of his veterancy. You get out. You, you get out. Get out. We don't want your kind here. Really? Flamethrowers? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Flamethrowers? Nope. 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 You will not be able to use that weapon at all. Sorry about that. But you're not allowed. You're not old enough. Okay, it doesn't take much to take down an artillery unit. Come on, you're just shooting out a giant horse, essentially. Set phasers to kill. There we go. You can fire at him, right? Get off some lucky kills. Yeah, there we go. Immortal horses. They fear nothing. Nothing. One of our units has used all its Charge! Charge! The fucking charge at that horse! Stab it in the butt! Stabby, stabby! I love how one stab actually kills all the horses in the line. It's like a conga line of death. 
But you know what? We did it. We got rid of the Germans. Lost about a thousand dudes. But you know what? That's A-OK. -okay, because we're going to go ahead and win all the battles. Now let's auto resolve. And we've basically wiped out the Germans from this area. Good. Now go back to that little... I think... What is it? Milltown? Yeah, Milltown. And just chill about. And now that I am going to send forces over there as quick as I can to reinforce that area. Unfortunately, I can't send in machine gun bunkers, but that's fine. We're going to send this army to the right. Okay, good stuff, guys. Good fucking stuff. Heroes of the French Empire. Amazing. Amazing. Okie dokie, then. Let's go ahead and swap out these infantry units. The machine gun bunkers and you know what these infantry units can combine with this army over here and we can launch an attack on pomerania a little raid and let's move rifle infantry over here can we move machine gun bunkers we could that'd be interesting do we have any artillery no we don't so let's move down the artillery now let's continue building some units let's get some chaussiers light infantry they do have a little bit more range now our economy is in the shitter but it will get better once we repair the iron mines and the gold mines respectively oh yeah wait gotta get rid of those italians oh come on so close yet so far in the end it doesn't really matter oh we're gonna face bankruptcy but that's okay listen if america faced bankruptcy and still stay on its uh two hind legs then you know what i can as well why can't the French survive off of the backs of uh, the poor people? Hello, Spain. How are you today? I hope you're doing very good. I'm doing excellent. I got out of health class and I probably failed the test, but you know what? That's fine. That is fine. Britain, continue to both astonish me with your high class skills of great army management but yet confuse me with your whole battle plan why do you land on french soil why germany's right over there you look your princess is in the wrong castle friend oh for the love of wilhelm his machine guns some lancer cap some rifle infantry bye bye Let's just auto resolve. Yikes. Oh, what? You were able to kill my guys entirely? That sucks. Oh, well, at least that frees up my money. It doesn't mean that killing the Germans is going to be a little bit difficult because they do have machine guns. A lot of machine guns, actually. Alright, well, we lost the region. That's okay. We are losing quite a bit of money, actually. Don't worry, this is only temporary. Only temporary. Because we are going to actually attack Munich pretty soon. And that will allow us to gain tons and tons and tons of eagle. Because we're going to loot the city. Okay, I don't even give a shit about the people inside. I'm going to loot that fucking city. Why do I need to... Really? Do I really need to... Ah, I really don't want to resolve it because... This could result in the loss of tons and tons of units. So, hold on. We will fight this battle. Frank Yost, Joseph Hoke versus Frederick Strobo. Now, I'm just like, wow. Do I really need to actually fight a battle right about now with just, like, the forces I have on hand? It's a little bit useless, to say the least. But whatever. This is, this is fine. We will use our mortars to basically baptize our enemies in fire and death and, brim and brimstone of course brimstone obviously it's the most important thing like he has light mortars he has field guns that are a little bit old and outdated and janky that's fine we're gonna go ahead and set our artillery like so have some oh wow we have a lot of really weak infantry units and a lot of really weak units in general did we not let this army heal up i guess we didn't now, this is my this is my bad, actually. Holy crap. 
Hopefully we don't lose too many units. That would definitely be a little bit embarrassing. Well, I'm just going to assemble like a really, really long line. And see where everything goes. Alright, begin the battle. Well, about now, all my units need to do is really focus on destroying his mortars and his artillery, and then we should be fine. Yeah, pretty much that's about it. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! How? Our general's like... Where? Wait, wait, where is our general, actually? Oh, are you actually the general? Yes, you are. Oh, never mind. <laughs> His rifle cap is coming this way. They're swigging, swigging their way over there. I think our machine guns are actually hitting the hills. Actually, hold on. They should be able to fire right about now, right? Yeah, for the most part. Ooh, nice little hit. I want to change the canister shot, actually. Let's go ahead and do so. Still haven't been able to kill any of his mortars, though. It's a little bit disappointing. Come on, come on. There we go. Rifle cab are taking a beating from my canister shots. And as you can see, the mortars and the howitzers are just too much, too much for him to handle. Hey, can you focus on the guard infantry? Yeah, there we go. Nope. Come on, everybody. Oh, you got too close. Yep, you're going to be charged at. Isn't that just wonderful? Oh, go ahead and essentially send this guy to hell. For his savagery. And we probably faced like a ton of friendly fire, didn't we? Yep, we did. Yeah, this unit took the worst of it, actually. Okay, back off the machine gun teams for now. But it seems like, for the most part, we are going to win this battle, and I didn't lose any of my machine guns, so that's good. Oh, well, it seems like this one is actually still operational. That's weird. Oh, God, you guys are clumped together like that. Oh, you're getting eliminated. Yeah, this is all my bad. God, not clump my guys together or else they're gonna become Swiss cheese. But I really assumed that my mortars would have been able to deal with this by now. Yep. Germans are finally done for. And let's see, the mortars of the howitzer should be able to take that guy out entirely. Yep, bye-bye. A heroic victory has indeed been gained for the German army. We lost way too many units due to stupid friendly fire. I did not know these guys were so weak. We have to heal them up. And I still can't actually go into Munich. This just sucks. Come on, guys, go 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 into Munich. Let let my people go. Hmm, we could send in a machine gun bunker, and I would actually love to do that. Yeah, some machine gun bunkers would be good. Now let's see. If I heal up for one turn in maybe that intellectual center, then I could actually attack Munich the next turn. That would be awesome. 
Okay, assemble you guys right over there. Now, we desperately need to heal up this force. Yeah, go back here. Or, you know what? Let's go ahead and take the really, really weak troops. Which are basically these guys. Put them in the intellectual center. There we go. And then we'll put in the fresh troops. There we go. Awesome. And one more. Bam. Now we have a fully stocked army. Well, we have some really weak mortars and some kind of weak machine guns. But for the most part, they're going to stay in the back. So it's all fine. And you're still moving forward, which is awesome. I need you right away, sir. And continue moving my forces out. Now, we're still going to try and hold on to Hanover as much as we can. Hanover is the basically the bastion of our power. He's probably going to try and take back Mecklenburg, though. But we have no way to stop that. Taking back Hesse would actually be a pretty good idea, because then we can get that iron mine set up. Well, iron mine, gold mine set up. By the way, kill the Italians. Kill, kill them. What? Please give me military access. What? Excuse me. Excuse me. You're not letting me through? You serious? You're not letting me through. Please give me access for five turns. I will give you... Like, access indefinitely. Oh, you guys are just giant cunts. What am I supposed to do? What, what, what? You're not letting me through because, like, your enemies are right outside your borders. Alright, let's go heal up our forces here, then. If the Italians try to come back, we'll be able to track them. Spain is such a terrible ally. Like... I'm basically in an abusive relationship. Why am I getting telephones? Hold on a second. We need to get early tanks. What are we doing? We need to get the tanks. The tanks. Even though we don't have any way to produce them, we need tanks. And we desperately need to fix this economy. Holy moly guacamole. Here, Hanover. We're taxing you. And... What are you? Oldenburg? Yeah, we're... What is this? Hold on. Which which city are we not taxing? It's Oldenburg, right? Yeah. Oldenburg, we're taxing you as well. That kind of fixed our eco? Kind of. A little bit. Maybe we have to tax a lower class. No, never mind. Don't tax a lower class. Oh my god. That would be terrible. Yeah, I think one looting spree as well as our repairing of several key economic structures would actually help us a lot of you know, if I quickly conquer Switzerland, I feel like my economy would do 150 times better. But you know what? Munich's a good place to conquer, actually. It does gain... Well, it doesn't gain us anything, like, spectacular. But it does give us an intellectual center, which is pretty good. We also get about, like, what, 7,000 gold per turn. They're Catholic, which means they shouldn't hate us too much. Because we're essentially the same religion as them. Oh, and it's right next door to Austria, and that would be pretty cool to actually conquer some Austrian territories, as well as maybe even destroying the Austrians entirely by conquering their capital. That would be awesome. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.